war, these ngomas were used as uh, a sound to warn people that soldiers are coming. And each time he, someone of his family called Alfred was playing this and people knew that the Matsakutsakus were coming and they disappeared before the Matsakutsakus were present. So the, the drum became very popular into independence. And at independence, he actually played these drums in the Faro Stadium on the day of independence. And from that day, he used it to be present at every national occasion, both governmental occasion as well as political occasions. And if when it was governmental occasions, he used to put this on this regalia. This, this was for government. When it was for the for politics, you can see this this was you can see the colours. At every ZANPF Congress or conference, conference uh, he was there. Directly in response to the call by His Excellency the President, uh, the Zambia family decided to send the Senator who will uh, say you know uh, speak on behalf of the family, but. Uh, uh, to hand over artifacts of the late uh, Douglas Lamek, who created what I think is the most played sound in Zimbabwean history, uh, and the most recognizable sound in Zimbabwean history. And that sound uh, found in the Museum of African Liberation.